Today, we're gonna to be comparing seven different fascinating Mexican tarantula species that often get confused and mislabeled in our hobby. The Brachypelma bowmine, Brachypelma erratum, Brachypelma homori, Brachypelma smithy, Brachypelma amelia, Brachypelma bumgartening, and the Afonipelma bicoloratum. We're gonna explore their common names, appearance, behavior, and habitat. So let's get started. Now the Brachypelma genus is known for their vibrant colors and calm nature, but is also notorious for having some pretty irritating, urticating hairs. But their common names can be very confusing and they often get switched around. And you're gonna see why right now. First off is the Brachypelma baimi, commonly known as the Mexican fireleg tarantula. Then you have the Brachypelma erratum, whose common name is the Mexican flame knee tarantula. To confuse things even more, Brachypelma homori is known commonly as the Mexican red knee tarantula. And the Brachypelma smithy, which looks nearly identical to the homori, but does have a few slight variations, is known as Smith's red knee tarantula, or the red kneed tarantula. And of course, we have the Brachypelma amelia, which is known as the Mexican red leg. the Afonipelma bicoloratum, known as the Mexican blood leg, and finally, the Brachypelma bungardi, whose common name isn't as confusing, but when you see what they look like, you can tell why it's such a mix up, but they're known as the Mexican orange beauty. As you can tell, many of these common names have the word Mexican leg and knee and adjectives that refer to red or orange or flames, fire, blood. It's really confusing stuff and it's really no surprise that so many people get the common names and the scientific names mixed up. And to add more fuel to the fire, many dealers at reptile shows and even some websites only list the common names. And these common names are not standardized throughout the world, let alone throughout our country. So what we may call a Mexican fire leg tarantula here, they may call in another country or or even in a different region of this country, a Mexican red leg or a Mexican fire leg. There's no international, worldwide, global database that standardizes all these common names. A lot of the times, the common names are created by the people that breed and sell the spiders or by the people that live in the area these spiders are found, which is a great example of why it is so important to refer and label your tarantulas using the scientific binomial names, because common names just are not that reliable and can create a lot of confusion. But all seven of these spiders have very similar colors and patterns with different shades of black, orange, and red. But hopefully Hopefully this video will help you distinguish which species is which and really enforce the importance of using scientific names in your collection in addition to common names. So let's take a look at some of the differences in physical appearance. First off, let's look at the Brachypelma erratum. It has a black body with striking red or orange flame-like bands on their knees, which is how they got their Mexican flame knee common name. They primarily inhabit the Balsas Dry Forest on the inland side of the Sierra Madre del Sur in Mexico.
Next up is the Brachypelma bomai. Sometimes that's pronounced bamy. Depends on who you are. They have a vibrant orange, sometimes red legs, with darker body segments. They're native to southern Mexico, primarily in the western Guerrero state along the Pacific coast. Now let's look at the Brachypelma bumgartni. This spider is very similar in appearance to the Brachypelma bomai, but with slightly lighter orange bands and darker overall coloration. This species is often confused with the bomai, but it is more vibrantly orange and has a more subtle difference in its leg markings. You really gotta get them side by side to see the difference, as it can be pretty tricky if you only see one of them in person. Now let's look at the Brachypelma homori. They have a black body with bright red-orange kneecaps, similar to the Brachypelma smithy, but with subtle differences. This spider is found in the western faces of the Sierra Madre Occidental and Sierra Madre del Sur mountain ranges in Mexico. Today's video is sponsored by The Spider Shop. They have one of the largest varieties of tarantulas available for sale on the internet. Plus, their live arrival guarantee and customer service has revolutionized the industry, with many other dealers following their lead. I have gone on multiple trips with the owner, Tyler, and have gotten to know him pretty well. And I can attest that his passion for tarantulas and other exotic animals is genuine. Not to mention his commitment to ethical keeping and breeding practices is an integral part of his business. If you use the link in the description of my videos or in the pinned comment of this video, you will save 10% on all your orders at spidershop.com and a small commission will come back to help support this channel. So check out their wide selection of amazing tarantula species at very competitive prices. And rest assured that your spiders will be shipped safely while being covered by one of the best live arrival guarantees available. With over 400 five-star reviews on Google and Facebook, you can rest assured you will be receiving some of the healthiest tarantulas in the hobby. They recently listed some beautiful Mexican tarantula species, many confirmed females, that will make great additions to your collection. So use my link down below to check out their huge variety of tarantulas and save 10% on all your purchases at spidershop.com. Visually, it's next to impossible to distinguish a homori from a smithy, but that's what we're gonna try to do right now. So let's look at the Brachypelma smithy. The Brachypelma smithy and the Brachypelma homori are both found along the Pacific coast of Mexico, but they are on opposite sides of the Balsas River Basin. B. smithy is found to the south in the state of Guerrero, while the B. homori is found in the north. The two species have very similar color patterns. When viewed from above, the chelicerae of the B. homori has two brownish pink bands on a grayish background, but that is not visible on all individuals. The Brachypelma smithy lacks these bands. Mature males of the two species can be distinguished by the shape of their palpal bowl. While mature females of the B. smithy can be identified by the base plate of the spermathica, which is divided and sub-triangular rather than elliptical as in the B. homori. Also, the ventral face of the spermathica is striated rather than smooth. Brachypelma anitha was described as a separate species in 1997, but it is now considered to be Brachypelma smithy as well. Now, how is that for confusing? Then we have the Brachypelma amelia. This species has distinctive red-orange legs with a more solid black body compared to the other Brachypelma species. But what really makes the B. amelia easily distinguishable from the other tarantulas on this list is the black triangle that they have on their carapace. They may look very similar to a lot of these other red Mexican species, but that black triangle is always a dead giveaway. And then, of course, we have the Afonapelma bicolorado. This species is frequently confused with the Brachypelma bami because it has distinctive red-orange legs with a more solid black body compared to most of the Brachypelma species. When you look at the bicoloratum and the bomai side by side, it's much easier to tell the difference. There's a very sharp contrast in the bodies of the Brachypelma and Afonapelma species. The bicoloratum is more of an orange color, where the bami is more of a bright red. The Afonapelma also looks softer, if that's a way of describing it, with shorter hair, the bamey has long, wiry hairs, especially on the legs, and typically the bamey will have a bald spot on its abdomen because they are frequent hair kickers, whereas the bicoloratum doesn't kick hair unless they really feel threatened, which leads us into discussing the differences in the behavior and temperament of all these species.
The Aradum, Hamori, and Amelia species are generally calm, which means they're pretty safe for handling. They are known for their slow movements and their willingness to stay out in the open. So they're a great display species, but also a good tarantula to take out and show your friends. While on the other hand, the Bami and the Bumgartney are notorious hair kickers, and the type of urticating hairs that Brachypelmas possess can be very irritating to humans. They're beautiful tarantulas that are usually out on display, but I would never suggest attempting to handle them. Now, the Afonopelma bicoloratum is a different beast altogether. They will spend weeks and sometimes months buried down in their burrow, but when they are out, they typically stay out on display for long periods of time. They are a little smaller in size, slower to grow, but also a lot slower in their movements. And of all the tarantulas on this list, they're probably the most docile species. I don't think I've ever seen mine kick hair unless I was really doing something that irritated it. But being a slow moving docile species, it makes them great for kids and brand new tarantula keepers, especially if you're prone to handling your spiders. So if you're looking for a tarantula that's out on display most of the time and that you can view moving around, I would definitely say that describes the Brachypelma species the best. But if you're looking for a docile, slow-moving tarantula that you don't have to worry about urticating hairs as much and you don't mind if they spend some time in their burrow, then the Afonopelma bicoloratum would be the species for you. Now let's talk briefly about their geographic distribution and habitat. All Brachypelma species originate from Mexico, specifically from regions that have dry forests, scrublands, or desert-like climates. The Brachypelma erratum and Brachypelma bumgardii are both found in relatively similar habitats in western Mexico, though their ranges may not completely overlap. The Yofonopelma bicoloratum is found in more localized areas in Mexico, including the states of Guerrero and Morales. They have more specific habitat preferences and are often seen in slightly rockier and more elevated terrains compared to the Brachypelma species, which tend to prefer flat, dry plains. In fact, you can see on this map just how close some of these species are and how their ranges very frequently overlap. All of these species are terrestrial tarantulas. They're all slow moving and native to Mexico with fairly calm temperaments. And depending on the species, there are some subtle or drastic differences in their coloration, their patterns, and the shape of their bodies. And there are even some drastic behavioral differences when you compare species like the Brachypelma baimi with the Afonopelma bicoloration. While the Bami may almost always be out on display, defensive and quick to kick hairs, the Afonopelma bicoloratum is a lot more reclusive and docile. Each tarantula has its unique features, from the bold and colorful Brachypelma species to the subtle yet striking Afonopelma bicoloratum. Understanding these differences can really help you choose the best species that suits your preferences. So before buying any tarantula, make sure to do your research and check out my care videos for these species for a lot more in-depth information. I will link down below in the description. Even though a lot of these species have very similar common names, their appearance, their temperament, and the environment in which they live can be drastically different. So hopefully this video has helped you to be able to distinguish the differences between these species. If you'd like to see more videos about these amazing red tarantulas, I will link a top 10 list right here. And if you want to see some of the tarantula nature documentaries I've made, I will put that right here. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks to Ryan Tarantula Collective Merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> These tarantulas have a more specific habit. Shit. The 